I happened to come across your last match at AWE for Raw Wrestling. I saw how you just threw that girl around the ring like a Raggedy Ann doll. Just, mm, chaos, violence. Very impressive. <laughs> well, you better have a different game plan for Thursday night. It's a known fact you're a dominant force in Georgia. But it's also a known fact that you've never been in the ring with me. On May 21st at the Quad, you'll get your opportunity. And we'll see how dominant you really are. It's not that I don't like you. It's not even that I don't respect you. I just like being number one more. Welcome to episode 17. This is your host, Mr. Green, and we are bringing you yet another match. And this one is presented by Oh My Quad, AWE's event that took place on May 21st uh, here at the Quad in downtown Atlanta. Be sure to catch their next event to be the man June 18th for the crowning of the first ever AWE champion. And this episode is brought to you in part, or sponsored in part, by Zojo. Be sure to visit myzojo.com. Those athletic supplements. Speaking of athletes, here is Devin Nicole, one of the premier wrestlers on the, uh, well, I was going to say the Southeast region, but we might as well say across the country. She continues to spread her, her work further and further out. And I'm sure any promoters that are listening to this or watching this particular episode uh, will find that she is perfectly worth the effort, as is her opponent. Nicole uh, sporting some new attire as she gets ready for this first time meeting of her uh, rather interesting and as she calls herself strange and deranged opponent coming to the ring now, that being Dimension the Rose. Uh, over the recent weeks, or the last couple of appearances that Dimension the Rose has had within this promotion, she has uh, risen to quite the point where, as you can hear right there, the people are actually screaming. And they're, not, they're not screaming because they're scared. That's a, uh, let's call it a show of respect, as Dementia likes to do when she makes her, there you go, her entrance known. She screams at the top of her lungs and the people in the audience were doing it in turn for her which is quite interesting i think i stated on the uh, last time that i uh, had the opportunity to call a match that she doesn't really do anything to favor herself to the audience but she certainly does get the respect of the audience there's Devin nicole Again, Dementia the Rose. Devin Nicole is all business. Referee is making the check. I don't think Dementia the Rose actually would do any hiding of weapons. I mean, she walks out with a knife, so I don't really see the point with uh, hiding anything. And uh, as I said on a couple of occasions, whoa. Okay, well, she's about to go for the lockup, and the scare just push it back. Out of the way, roll up by Devin Nicole might end it quick. No. But as I was going to say, knives are not play things, so you know, we will move on with the match. Dimension Rose charges in, gets caught with a drop toe hole, head first into the second turnbuckle. Looks like Devin Nicole at this point is trying to keep it as a wrestling match, which is probably a very smart move. Three different occasions they're going. She's looking for that pin. She's looking to end this early. Quick kick right there into the shin. Flow it over. Face smash right there. Face first into the mat. But not enough. Throws out at the one. And Devin Nicole looks shocked. Uh, I don't know how shocked she should be. If she's seen Dimension the Rose before, she should know that that is a tough cookie. Shoulder blocked. Normally, Devin Nicole does possess a leverage and strength advantage, but I don't think that that will be... Uh, useful here. I believe that strength advantage will be negated.
by Dementia the Rose. As you see, she just put one big clothesline and dropped her on her back. And now the Rose is in charge. Body slam. Sends her down hard. Now the Rose going for the cover. And Devin Nicole able to shoot that arm out. Escape that, that pinfall. Dementia the Rose. Oh. Not a wrestling hole. Going right for a bite right across the forehead. And now stiff shoulder blocks in the corner. You see Devin trying to fight out. She got, got a couple of the forearm shots. Although not with authority on the back. Dementia looking like she's trying to go for one of her patented maneuvers. That airplane spin. That psychotic spin as I like to call it. Rolled through by Devin. Devin is still trying to work a, a pure wrestling match, appear, apparently. Dimension of Rose trying to instigate it off into a, a something a little bit more suiting to her taste. Devin the goal shot into the turnbuckle. Now she just walks her over to the other side. Shoots her into another turnbuckle. Dimension of Rose has uh, exerted control of this matchup. Into another turnbuckle again. Here comes the charge. Devin Cole floats over. Had a hard time rolling through, but comes in with a sunset flip. And you see Dimension Rose able to get out before the three count. As stated earlier, Devin Nicole looks to be trying to go for a, a, a pure match, a wrestling match. And if she, she can keep it and instigate a pure wrestling match, I would give her the definite advantage as she goes over the float in the butterfly suplex. But if Dimension Rose has her way and she can keep it aggressive, then the smart money would be on Dimension the Rose. But I certainly do not want to be the man that would discount Devin Nicole and her ability to score a pinfall victory. Even over the likes of Dimension the Rose. Dimension is back and still in charge, going for another butterfly suplex, a quick and reversal. Eat defeat. And she nails Dimension, but. Well, I see the referee stepping in the camera shot, but I was going to say it doesn't seem as though Devin Nicole was making any effort to get to the cover, and apparently she's not. It looks like her bell is rung. And it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for Nicole as she gets one big move in and is unable to take advantage of it. Dimension Rose back up onto her knees, as is Nicole. She gets up on her feet with the use of the ropes. And now staggering around trying to get herself back in the – Fighting position. Ducks underneath the clothesline. Reverse heel kick. Sends Dementia back to the turnbuckle. Reverse splash. Right there in the corner. Sets Dementia down. Here comes Devin. Drop kick. Hits the button. And that may score the upset. One. Two. Not quite. And this time, rightly so, Devin Nicole is shocked and surprised that it didn't keep her down, at least for the three. Typically, a double drop kick boot to the face would do that. Headbutt by Dementia the Rose. Back up into fireman's carry position, looking for the spin. Several rotations there. Devin Nicole may not know where she is right now. But she gets caught with that Samoan drop. Or maybe it's a Dementia drop. Out at the two. Not enough to keep down Devin Nicole. This young lady is pretty well traveled. It has a lot of accolades to her name. But can she survive Dimension Rose? And more importantly, can she survive what's coming up right now? She's looking for Damnesia. And if she hits it, it would be over. No one's kicked out of it yet. Charges across the ring. Oh, my gosh. Gets caught with a spear exploding out of the corner. But able to kick out. I am surprised. Devin Nicole was able to just lunge. A powerful spring. The nailer with that spear and it still did not keep her down. Still shocked. Still hurting in the head. Devin's going to have to do something because she looked like she's hurting and hurting bad. She's been holding the back of her neck for quite some time. Dimension Rose exercising that strength advantage takes her up into the corner and oh. 
Like so much of a rag doll, she slumps down. No! Oh. And there is Damnesia. And that's a, she is limp. Out like a light. This is it. Wait a minute. Kira Hogan. Kira Hogan is just. Well, on the one hand, she's just handed Dementia Rose the victory with that disqualification, but on the other hand, she is giving Dementia a pounding as Nicole's significant other walks into the ring to get her out, and Kira Hogan's significant other comes in the ring to help. It has been a trade-off of talent. Kira Hogan, is she screaming? You ruined it. Of course, he's talking about her debut. You can only have one debut, folks. It's only a one time. It's going to be your first time. And apparently, the mention of Rose has ruined that experience for her. And now, she might ruin this experience, too. Well, she did turn it around, but that kick in the head by Owen Knight uh, stopped whatever flurry she was breaking. And here comes Suge. <laughs> Suge D comes in to, to help out. These two gentlemen went at it earlier in the evening. Owen Knight scoring the victory, although being under uh, questionable circumstances. And uh, the D is not, not very pleased with that. Oh, my goodness. Big drop kick right there on the side. This this is just turned to melee. People are jumping out into the, to the arena. Kira Hogan's having to be held back. Owen Knight's having to be hold, held back. Dimension of the Rose most definitely has to be held back. Sugar's being held back. Kira charges across. They both come in. Fist flying. Just, it is a hectic situation, to say the least. At AWE, this is crossed over from Roar to AWE stuff. Kira Hogan is holding Dimension of the Rose accountable for that blemish on her record. That debut being destroyed at her hands. I guess she is still saying that it should have been uh, Amber O'Neill Gallows who she was scheduled for. And in that regard, she may have a legitimate claim, but things happen in the world of pro wrestling. Dimension Rose can't be held back. <laughs> Neither can Sugar. He charges in. This is breaking out into a... a, a Horrible situation. Dementia Rose is going for a knife. She, all right. Okay. It, it just got serious. It just got real. If, she, if Kira Hogan wanted any piece of her before, she definitely doesn't want a piece of her now. Thank God for, for Sugar D. It's, Okay, he says he don't stab. We don't stab anybody on the Thursday. And hopefully that that applies to the rest of the, the week as well. Yes, uh, he, he's a far far braver man than I. Kira's still upset, but I know she's not about to step in that ring right now. Not with an open blade. And uh, one night things better of it. Also, he carried her out of there. The, uh, the ruckus has ended, and the I don't know if this is a smart decision. The knife is being handed back. Oh, he's cleaning it for her. That's, that's smart. She takes that away. Everybody's oh, there's Adrian Armour over there. <laughs> and everybody's jumping out of the way. They, just, they, they do not want any part of uh, Dementia the Rose and her uh, Lorena Bobbitt. And if you're a male, you certainly don't want any part of that. He is a, is a much, much braver man than I to even still be in the ring right now. But I guess that's why he's a pro wrestler and I'm just a commentator. And it uh, looks like uh, he, he was trying to hug it out with her and she uh, took the aggressive role. Not only does she yank him in, but she's, she's carrying him off. I'm, I'm not sure how to translate that particular action. Maybe she's marking territory. I don't know. 
Uh, but he, he's going with it. In this case, as he should. But uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. We appreciate your support.